Audio tape test 2. Police medal. You will hear an audio script concerning a mission related topic. This script will be followed by a conversation between two persons. This conversation will relate to the script. You will hear the tape only once. You will make notes of the script and of the conversation. From these notes, you will be instructed either to answer 10 questions or complete a rating report of the incident. Good luck. On 14 January 2005, a journalist from the police magazine called To Serve and Protect went to see the magazine director and proposed writing an article about the history of police medals awarded to citizens for their assistance to the police. The presumed name of the article was Police Medal. On 16 January 2005, the journalist went to the police museum located at Main Street number 74 to conduct research for the article. While in the museum, he was pleased to see pictures, letters of appreciation, and medals given to young citizens for their assistance to the police during investigation of crimes. In the records section of the museum, the journalist read that on May 7, 1947, the chief of police reported the kidnapping of an eight-year-old girl when she was walking home from school. He said that this crime might have gone unresolved if there had been no cooperation between the citizens and the police. Two youths, 11 and 15 years old, witnessed the girl being abducted and took down the registration plate number PK5386 of the vehicle used to commit the crime. This led to the immediate arrest of the criminals. The girl was freed and returned to her parents. The common practice of the 20th century was to send letters of thanks to the citizens, but the police commission decided that they wanted something special to recognize young people who helped the police department. It was decided that the Board of Police Commission Medal should be formed to plan for the presentation in such cases. Medal designers were instructed to inquire as to design and costs. It was resolved that the medal be made of bronze with the words Police Commission Award on the front side. The reverse side was to specify the name of the recipient as well as the date of the service rendered and the words for worthy service in law enforcement. The estimated cost of production of this medal was $250. The medal presentation was always made in the office of the mayor who also served as chairman of the police commission. The first ceremony took place on 26th of November, 1947. The medals were awarded to two boys, 11 and 15 years old, who reported the abduction of a girl along with vital clues that led to the immediate arrest of the suspects. The next award was presented in 1948 on April 15th to a 17-year-old male who had witnessed an armed robbery attempt at a jewelry shop. The young male began following the gunman. He saw two police officers and informed them of the circumstances and they were able to arrest the gunman without incident. 
Before publishing the article, the director of the police magazine asked the journalist to come to his office to brief him about the article. The following conversation is the dialogue between the director of the police magazine and the journalist. Director, thank you for coming to my office. To serve and protect magazine welcomes young talents. I need to ask you some questions about your article. Have you already decided what name to give to it? Journalist, I wish to call it Police Medal. How did you manage to collect historical material? I went to the police museum and conducted a research for the article. What is the location of the police museum? The police museum is located at Main Street number 74. When did you go to police museum? I went to the police museum on 16th January 2005. What was your impression after visiting the museum? I was pleased to see pictures, letters of appreciation and medals given to young citizens for their assistance to police investigations. When was the first medal awarded? The first medal was awarded on 26th of November 1947. To whom was the first medal awarded? Actually, there were two medals which were presented to two boys, 11 and 15 years old. Oh, really? These boys must have done something extraordinary in order to be awarded police medals. On 7th of May 1947, the chief of police reported the kidnapping of an 8-year-old girl. Two youths witnessed the girl being abducted. How did it happen? They saw the girl walking home from school and had witnessed this girl being abducted. The boys got the vehicle's license number PK5386. Then they reported it to the police. Did the police manage to arrest the criminals? Yes, they did. The girl was freed and returned to her parents. Did you see how the first medal looked like? The medal was made of bronze with the words Police Commission Award on the front side of the medal and the reverse side specified the name of the recipient as well as the date of the service rendered and the words for worthy service in law enforcement. What was the estimated cost of production of this medal? The estimated cost was $250. Who decided to establish this medal award and who did the presentation? The Board of Police Commission Medal was established and the presentation of the medals was made in the office of the mayor who also served as the chairman of the police commission. Now please tell me something about the second award ceremony. The second award was made on 15th of April 1948. Who was awarded this time? It was a 17-year-old young male who had witnessed an armed robbery attempt at a jewelry shop. How did he help the police? He began following the gunman. Then he saw two police officers and informed them of the circumstances. This helped the police to arrest the gunman without incident. 
Your article will definitely assist in encouraging heroic feats such as this and prompting the youth to assist the police with information as much as they can. Thanks for the recognition of my work. Goodbye. Goodbye.